Hey everybody, we're out uh, thrifting and hunting today, but we're looking for something a little bit different. Not just gold and silver today, and that would be doggy. <sighs> Are you done yet? Jesus Christ, never easy. We're looking for something special today. Uh, we have a new toy and I'm very excited to get out and play with it. You see that? That piece is special. Yeah, okay, it looks like an ordinary, uh, you know, dessert cup. But actually, it glows in the dark. In fact, it glows in the dark so magnificently you can see it in the daylight. And yeah, we have a new toy. Uh, this is actually 1920s, 1930s uranium glass. Very cool stuff. Mildly radioactive. Not enough to even really... It's less than uh, just walking out on a bright sunny day, but very interesting because it does glow beautifully. So let's hit the uh, flea market and see what's in here. All right, see, there's a green piece wrapped there, and it turns transparent, doesn't light up. In fact, the only thing that'll light up that bright green is uranium. Let's keep moving. A lot of shit to do in here. That's kind of neat. Nothing's lighting up for me. I'm just moving through very quickly. Because what I'm looking for is going to grow, glow very bright, very green. There will be no question about it. I haven't seen anything that glowed yet. Oh, old Howard Hobby. Some neat stuff in here today. Oh, what do we got? Yeah, little ceramics. Ooh, VHS wander, rewinder. Nice. Oh. Wasn't me. I was over here the whole time. All right, we had a false alarm. These actually lit up green. Those lit up green right there, but they're plastic. Oh, you're doing a video. Yeah. Not anything yet? There's a lot of shit in here. Uh, Most of it is just shit. What one? Oh yeah, that's too green. That's way too green. Okay. It just pales out. Interesting. What are you? There's a little ring right there. What the hell is that? Is that a little brass ring? Very weird. So much shit, and so much shit, and all of it would just probably be burned and no one would notice. Alright, so, want to check these first? Nothing. Wait a minute. That's pretty glowy there. No, it's reflecting. You see it's reflecting off the tag in the bottom. Pull oh. one out. Pull one out. And now look. Now it's not. Okay. Kind of purpley glow to them. Those were greenish. Nothing there. Nope. This is hard work. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Nothing glowy yet. It's very weird. Uh, old PC comics. Smurfs. There's some more. Yeah. See? Kind of greenish tone, mm -hmm. and it turns into a pink. Or it just washes out completely. Wrong stuff. Yeah. This is not easy. But you work the jewelry, hun. I'll keep working uh, glassware. Well, please. Some of these milk glasses can be. Uh, none of those are. Here's some depression glass. This might be some, glowy. Some of these pinks will also glow. So we have to check these a little more carefully. I am seeing a lot of stains. Like right there. Uh, this light will show up stains, cracks, all kinds of stuff. I think it's a very, very handy fucking tool. And, hmm. Nothing. Like so far, the big problem I've seen with the light, <clears throat> the big problem I've seen so far is you see things you don't want to see. See, the cup looks clean. 
Uh, it's not. Ew. Ew. <sighs> For what? The milk, the milk, the uh, right here. Mayola milk products. Five fifty for that, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah, let me get right on that. We had to mow the load here. They were at 125. However, these are all football films from the 1950s. Yeah, we'll skip that. I don't need those. Where's the reel to reel? It's just a little quarter. Very, very nice. What do they want for it? Don't even have a price on it. So, oh, wait a minute, here we go. Oh, it was 45. It's actually... Look at that. Yep. That's interesting. Yeah. It's a Winnie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I think we've got a winner. Yeah, look at that green. Nice. Glowy. Those are like pale white and the regular light. Right, it's pale white and regular light, and then you light it up and it turns green. But that just turns, pink. That. turns pink. Yeah, ew. Uh -huh. So it's five. Do we want it or not? Just the question. So the gold rim is worn off. I mean, it's the real thing. And you have found a jar of jewelry. We're excited about that. I know. 15 bucks though. That's for us. It's a bit expensive. Uh, I kind of want to hang on to it just to see if I find anything better. Maybe I'll just get like, if I find a better piece, how about that? I'll just set that one down. <laughs> no, it doesn't, there's not much in there. Not for 15 at least. Alright. Oh. Alright, what do you got there? I don't know, maybe. That definitely looks like uranium glass. It's got chips all in it though, so I wouldn't buy it. That's uranium. That is uranium glass. Look at that glow. Yeah. But unfortunately. Chips? Very yeah. badly. Mm -hmm. Wow, that glows. Jesus Christ, that bright. Isn't that gorgeous? It's hard to get it on camera, but I mean, it really lights up. That's a little milder of a light up because it's the milk glass. Mm -hmm. But I still like the cut better. I'm going to hang out of the cup for now. Okay. It looks like I had to mother load here. Jesus Christ, look at that. Ten dollars a glass. <laughs> so a lot. Wow. Very nice. I got Thirty-two, a little high for me. It is beautiful. Alright, so anybody know what this critter is? Tag says Ritter or something. Yeah, for three hundred bucks. All right, light it up. Wow. Look at that. That's definitely uranium. Yep. It's like uh, the spit station. Look at that. Yes, yeah, the spit station for um, Venice and Venice. stuff. Yeah. That is awesome. Three hundred bucks. And this is that white uranium uh, milk on this, mm -hmm. right? Very cool. So yeah, now your dentist office was radioactive in 1928. <laughs> All right, so I mean, it looks like just ordinary glass, except it's not. The tops are made out of a different kind of glass. That is awesome, it's uranium glass. That's really awesome. For 13, I don't know. I don't think I can do anything with it, but I just wanted to get pictures. Very fucking cool. Find uranium glass in just the weirdest places. The way that lights up is just amazing. What's the uh, show the difference here? What's the earpiece? What other piece? You, you should get in your hand. Oh, that ain't got, this is not See? uranium. Turns purple. That is awesome. Just the handle on this barrel thing. I don't know what the fuck it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's an unexpected result. Uh, the glass beads. Some of them glow, some of them don't. 
So it's like they used whatever glass they had on hand. This one right there. That is wild. Uh, this here is plastic. It's bright blue. But not all the pieces glow. Only some. Unexpected results. Very cool. Okay, clearly those have to be, right? Right. No, no. Check it out. They turn blue. Yeah. They don't glow at all. Is that a fire nozzle thing? I'll show you my fire nozzle. Well, come here and look at it. Where? There's two cold ones there. Old ones. Yeah, there's a fire hose here. Things. There's the creepy dude on the wall. Here, show any light on that, buddy. Nothing. Okay. I'm just taking a little break of All right. All right, so there's a yellow. There's a yellow. And there's a yellow. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Look at the condition of that. These, these are chewed up. Yeah, that's our uranium glass in yellow. Very cool. What else we got in here? Anything? Nope. My back is really killing me. We still got more to go in here. Alright. So we have this, uh, what, Astra? Look, it's kind of bluish, whitish. It's like Look. agate. It almost looks like an agate. This is a glass. This one's a little more yellow green. <laughs> it is a little difficult to get on the camera, though, because it's hard to, to describe just how bright they are. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. This answers two questions. Mm -hmm. uh, one, did we find real Fenton? And two, does black light work through glass? Sure it does. Look at that glow. There's two pieces there. Yeah. Both Fenton. See if that Fenton glows, I doubt it. Nope. Nah, he's gonna glow. It is really difficult to get color. See, they're white, and then they, they, they turn green. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for all of that, I did end up buying the cup because it's eh, kind of odd. It's translucent milk glass that does have a green glow to it. And those, holy hell. So basically this is, uh, it's junk metal, but it's Czechoslovakian uh, uranium glass. Got some CZs. What's in the middle? I don't know. It doesn't glow. It's a different kind of glass. Very odd. Is there another stop? I don't fucking know. I'm tired. All right, wasn't that a whole fucking ton of fun? Yeah. Uh, I did not expect to find very much in the way of treasure at the antique flea market, which is all overpriced anyways. Uh, I wanted to take this into some place that was massive um, to get a large sample size. Even the pieces I found that were hidden treasures that they didn't know were, was uranium glass was still overpriced. But I wanted a large sample size because I wanted to see what's out there. And wow, found some things I did not fucking expect. What's your explanation of why those things glowed uranium green? We have some other videos coming up too, like this. This is amber, which turns this lovely shade of green and green blue when you hit it with the light. Uh, I apologize, this camera is so bad at catching this. Uh, this is rare this is real Baltic amber, just in raw form. You can see that color. Why does it do that? Did you know that some marbles are made out of uranium glass? 
We've been collecting marbles for a while. We're going to go through this dude and see what's in it. And there are many more hunts coming up. This is this is an absolute flea market essential. Looking for treasures hidden in plain sight that you cannot see without the without the flashlight, without the UV light. Uh, and these are desperately cheap. And it's surprisingly it's a metal body. It's an aluminum body flashlight. It's like nine bucks. The fuck? Hope you had a little bit of fun. Uh, we have a lot of stuff coming up. We'll be more live shows. We're going to be changing the whole channels around because reasons. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out of here. All right. I couldn't leave this video as is without trying a little harder to get you an actual good image of how incredibly bright this stuff is. When you're holding this in your hand, in the, in the antique flea market, in the bold daylight, this is literally how bright it glows. This is why I hunt for this stuff. It is very, very unusual. Leave your comments below. Uh, I would love to know more about uranium glass. Why did some pieces glow? Why were some pieces mixed? Anyways, I'm out of here again. Later.